Let's talk about cybersecurity, guys. Cybersecurity is a big field. Cybersecurity is a big field, guys. And I'll tell you like this. It's an area that there is a huge talent gap. This article that I wanted to bring to you guys this morning is the top seven cybersecurity jobs that are in high demand. And we're going to briefly talk about this. And for you cybersecurity gurus out there, Malik and uh, PBO, right? For you guys, you know, I, we would love to see courses from you guys on, you know, helping individuals get into cybersecurity because there is a huge gap right now. There is a huge gap right now with people getting into cybersecurity. And I'm going to tell you like this, I'm doing my best to partner with companies to help individuals get that learning, okay? So if you think about this, right, the demand for cybersecurity professionals are consistently increasing. And the reason why they're increasing is because of the rise of cyber threats and data breaches. You read about it every single day. A company's been hacked, whether it's Twitter or some sort of bank or some sort of, you know, cybersecurity company. There's hacks. And what happens when a company is hacked? Well, they lose, they lose a whole bunch of money. They lose a whole bunch of money. That's what happens. And not only that, the people, their most valuable assets are left unprotected. They're left unprotected. You know, then you have your email floating around on the underground web, people getting access to you, then your phone number, then you start to get all these robocalls and all this other stuff. It's a pain in the ass, right? And then you want to remove yourself from off that. And sometimes, you know what? A lot of this stuff, you know, affects your credit because they can potentially get access to your credit and start charging things. You guys ever got a phone call from somebody trying to, you know, charge money to your card? It's probably been because somebody's been hacked and that information has been leaked, right? So that's why cybersecurity jobs are in high demand. And that's why cybersecurity professionals are needed to protect from cyber threats and data breaches. And what I would say is this, guys, cybersecurity jobs are available in a variety of industries from healthcare to supply chain to government. That's the cool thing about cybersecurity, right? It's so vast. You can do it in the educational system. What's up, Ladder Climbers? This is Antoine Wade. I wanted to interrupt this video to talk to you guys about Course Careers. Course Careers is the place that you guys need to go if you have a high interest into tech sales. They will help you gain the skills that you need so that you can enter the tech sales world to make a whole bunch of money. Tech sales salaries early on is about $60,000, guys. That's a good salary. And with OTEs, you can make anywhere from eighty-five dollars to $90,000. If you have an interest in tech sales, check out Course Careers, link in the description. And don't forget to use Antoine 50 so that you can get a $50 discount off of Course Careers. See you guys in tech sales. You know, supply chain industry where I live, banking and so forth, there's every industry needs cybersecurity professionals, which is another reason why these roles are in high demand. But let's talk about the seven cybersecurity jobs, cybersecurity jobs that are in high demand. We're going to start off with a security analyst, right? An information security analyst. And these guys are responsible for identifying and mitigating cyber threats to an organization's network and data. Okay. These are the guys that help to eliminate the threats to the company's network and their data. And these guys, don't get me wrong, some of the requirements are that you have a bachelor's degree. But again, skill-based hiring, you don't need a bachelor's degree, but you may need to have some certifications. Security Plus, Certified Administrative uh, Information Systems Security Professional Certification, and potentially a Certified Ethical Hacker Certification. These are the certifications that you may need for this type of role. But there are alternatives to getting certifications. And check this out. Check this out. We partnered with Level Careers. I'll bring up the website so you guys can see it. They just dropped their cybersecurity intro course. Guys, so for you that want to get into cybersecurity, right? And you want to do it in as little as three months to become an information security analyst. We've partnered with Level Careers to allow for you to become a cybersecurity professional with no degree or certifications. Now, we're not saying that you don't need a certification. Certifications look good, but there's been people who broke into cybersecurity without a certification. And we're going to teach you how to do that. A level teaches you how to do that. Sign up for their free introductory course, right? Start the free introductory course. Decide if it's for you. Enroll in a full course when it's out April 1st. So you can pre-order it right now. They have pre-orders. The course is $4.97. And then you can advance your degree. And why should you choose cybersecurity? This company has it on it. High demand, job security, competitive salary, work variety, fulfilling work. And who is the instructor? Who is the instructor for this? 
You guys know who the instructor is. One of the best cybersecurity professionals on YouTube outside of my brother, Professor Black Ops, Josh Matakar. Josh Matakar. He's the instructor for the cybersecurity course. And he's been able to break into cybersecurity without having any certifications in cybersecurity. And he's teaching you how to do such a thing. So guys, if you're looking to improve, advance your skills into cybersecurity, you're looking to break into it, check out Level Careers. And I'll drop the link into the, the chat right here. Let me do that right now. Boom. You guys have the link where you guys can go up and sign up for the free introductory course. And if you like it, go ahead and purchase the full course. It's on the discount right now, $4.97. But let's jump back over to the uh, cybersecurity roles. The next row is a security engineer. Security engineers are responsible for designing, implementing security measures to protect an organization's network and data. So they are the next career ladder climb for information security analysts, a security engineer. Next thing you know, there's a security architect, okay? A security architect, and then next, a security consultant, a pen tester, a cybersecurity manager, and a chief information security officer. These are all the roles that you can get into cybersecurity and the first way to break in is to become a cybersecurity analyst. Let's jump back over to what a security consultant does. A security consultant advises organizations on their best security practices and strategies. This is what our brother PBO does. He's a security consultant. He works with companies and advise them on how they should be using the best security practices to prevent hacks. And he strategizes with those guys and he makes a shitload of money. Makes a lot of money. Information security manager. An information security manager manages an organization's information security program. So if you want to climb the ladder, you've gone through the ranks of a uh, information security analyst, you potentially became a consultant, you want to become a manager and start managing people and become re responsible and start making the big bucks, become an information security manager. And some of the certifications that they're saying that you need is a security plus certified ethical hacker, GSEC, a security centrals, certified information systems, security professional, CISSP, certified information security manager, CISM, right? And the, a lot of these guys have bachelor's degrees, but again, you don't need it if you have those skills, if you've worked in some of these positions before. Penetration tester, test an organization's network and systems for vulnerabilities. These are the guys that really wanna be technical. They run standard or they run simulations to find ways that they can attack your network and so forth. This seems like a fun job right here. It seems like that fun job. You're just sitting back and you're like, Hey, you know what? Like I'm about to, I'm about to hack this, you know, our, our network. I'm about to cause a slowdown and you go out and have some fun. And then you report out if you were able to hack it or you report out if you weren't able to hack it. Sounds like a fun job. Sounds like a really fun job. There's also the security architect. Security architect is responsible for designing and implementing security solutions for an organization's network and data. So these guys are, you know, the strategists. They are the strategists that helps, you know, almost like a combination of a consultant, an analyst and all who can put it together. They have years of experience and they help to create security designs and architectures to make sure that things are working the correct way. Then you got the cybersecurity manager, right? Which is basically a CISO, you know, they have new names for them and so forth, but you know, or the next level up would be a CISO. And I'm gonna tell you like this, CISOs make a lot of money. But one of the things about CISOs though, that I found out after speaking to a couple of people is that they burn out because the job is just tough. You are constantly, you know, dealing with threats all the time. And I would, that seems like a very stressful job, but it's for you. If you want to make the money, you want to make $500,000 a year. CISOs can make $500,000 a year, guys. Those are the seven cybersecurity jobs that you can get. And you can start to break in, you know, cybersecurity with a low cost of $497. You sign up for the level career cybersecurity course. Again, Join the free introductory course. It's free. Learn from Josh, the why, the how, the what is cybersecurity, how to land in that role. And then if you think it's for you, you think you're ready to make a commitment to learn some skills in order for you to break into this field, sign up for the full introductory course, 497. And if you use the black 100 discount code, you'll receive 10% off, okay?